The upper airway passage is a collapsible tube formed of muscles that are attached to and supported by the facial skeleton. Thus, changes to the underlying skeletal structure will affect the soft tissue attachments dictating airway volume. This is the core principle by which maxillomandibular advancement operates. When it comes to skeletal surgery of the human face, there are three interconnected elements that must not be separated. These are the elements of bite, breathing, and beauty. Maxillomandibular advancement is more commonly known as double jaw surgery. It is the main form of skeletal surgery for treatment of obstructive sleep apnea. First pioneered by Drs. Riley and Powell at Stanford Hospital in the late 1980s, today this surgery is performed routinely with success rates nearing 90%. Once your surgeon determines that you are a candidate for MMA, preparation begins with coordinated care between your surgeon and an orthodontist. Here at Stanford, extensive utilization of virtual surgical planning is done preoperatively using patient CT and intraoral scans. Custom cutting guides and plates are then fabricated in order to deliver precision care on the day of surgery. You can appreciate how far we've come with the help of this technology. Surgery involves cuts made in the maxilla and mandible with all incisions placed inside the mouth. Oftentimes, both jaws are advanced with a counterclockwise rotation. However, movements are specific to each patient. The net effect of these movements is increased volume and stability of the airway muscles. It is important to note that MMA is not simply orthognathic surgery where the jaws are moved forward. MMA is where skeletal movements are used to treat a soft tissue problem. The sleep endoscopies shown here help us appreciate the remodeling of the airway following skeletal surgery. The sleep endoscopy on the left shows an airway with concentric collapse and instability of the side walls. This can result in reduced oxygen flow. The sleep endoscopy on the right shows the same patient after MMA surgery. Here, we see significant improvement in airway stability and volume. Of note is the stability of the lateral pharyngeal walls following MMA. This is a key indicator of surgical success. While MMA is considered phase 2 surgery, some patients can be fast-tracked. Should you be an ideal fast-track candidate, Dr. Leo will inform you. It is also important to recognize the multimodal nature of this algorithm. Thus, following maxillomandibular surgery, other procedures may still be necessary to further optimize treatment success.